why does metal sometimes spill off smoothly and other times break like tiny chunks today let's break down how chips are formed during machining when a cutting tool moves across a workpiece it applies shear force this force causes the material to deform and separate as chips so in this video we will discuss three types of chips formed during machining the continuous chips the discontinuous chips and the continuous chips with built up edge the continuous chips are long ribbon like chips which comes out in coil forms so now let us try to understand the primary factors which results in the formation of this kind of chips number 1 the most important ductility ductile materials can endure high plastic deformation before fracturing so if we see this stress strain curve here a and b are upper and lower yield points and c is the ultimate fracture points after c the material will fail so you can see very clearly that it has a large plastic region and in this region the material can withstand large amount of deformation next is the high cutting speed if this cutting speed of the tool is very high then more heat will be generated in the shear zone which will make the work material soft thereby reducing its strength then this soft material will require less force to deform thus the material flows more easily promoting continuous chip formation also at high speed there is less time for material to get stick to the edge of the tool that is no built up edge is formed we will discuss this built up edge in the subsequent uh, slides the next factor for continuous chip formation is the sharp cutting edge with sharp cutting tools high, highly localized pressures are obtained which shears the material smoothly but a blunt tool spreads this pressure over a large area causing fracture and discontinuous chips we know pressure is equal to force divided by the cross sectional area now if if you see this drag diagram for the same amount of force applied pressure will be more in case of sharp cutting tool because the area of the sharp tip is less so after this comes the rake angle rake angle is another important uh reason why we have continuous uh chips so rake angle is uh, the angle between the tool surface and an imaginary line usually perpendicular to the chip tool interface in simple words rake angle tells us how tilted the cutting tool is we can also view rake angle as the angle made between the cutting tool and the chip so large rake angle allows the material to shear more easily along the shear plane thereby minimizing the friction since less material contacts the work tool so it reduces the resistance also a large rake angle reduce uh, guides the chip to flow smoothly along the tool face now after all these important factors let us discuss a few secondary factors res responsible for the um, continuous chip formation first one smooth rake face rake face uh, is the face of the tool which gets rubbed with the outgoing chip now if we have a tool which has a very polished rake face it will offer less re resistance to the movement of the chip over it this ensures the chip to flow continuously without sticking or tearing apart after this comes the role of lubrication if adequate lubrication is provided in the form of coolant the friction between the tool chip interface decreases which in turn will help in getting continuous chips so after continuous chips comes the second category uh, of chips which is continuous chips with built up edge the chip obtained here is smooth like a continuous chip but a la small layer of work material gets welded to the cutting edge of the tool due to high pressure and temperature during the process of machining this built up material grows as you can see in these two figures then finally breaks off periodically this extra metal sticks to the chip or the work surface causing poor dimensional accuracy and poor surface finish it also alters the geometry of the tool tip by adding extra metal there and this is why the built, built up edge is not at all desirable now let us try to understand the main factors which gives rise to continuous chips with built up edge usually ductile materials under poor conditions gives rise to built up edge so what are these conditions 
The first one is moderate cutting speed. Here the temperature is high enough to soften the material but not high enough to keep the chips flowing smoothly. Next point is poor lubrication. If we do not apply coolant during machining operation then due to high friction and high temperature the outgoing chips gets welded to the tool and machine surface. So proper lubrication do not uh, allow any <coughs> material to get depo uh, deposited on the tool. Next is the low rake angle. In this diagram we can see that if the rake angle is very low the chips while coming out have a tendency to rub against the rake face thereby generating tremendous amount of friction which in turn gets converted to temperature at the tool chip interface and this temperature gives rise to the built up edge. Okay, the next section is chip breakers. Now what are these chip breakers? Just assume this is the scene of your work, workshop after a few rounds of machining. So what will, will you do? If you have any experience of handling continuous chips, let us know in the comment section. Okay, so continuous chips have two major drawbacks. First is they get entangled among themselves and the machine parts and so it is very difficult to clean and handle them. Secondly, they pose safety hazards to the oper operators. So for this purpose, we use chip breakers. These are small additional parts which is uh, welded to the rake, rake face of the cutting tool as we can see in this figure. So what it does is that it, as soon as the chip comes out it hits the chip breaker and due to this impact of the uh, impact the chip comes out as fragmented pieces instead of a long continuous coil type. So the last type of chip that we are going to discuss today is the discontinuous chips. Discontinuous chips are characterized by small fragmented chips. Now let us try to discuss the prime factors be behind the formation of this kind of chips. The first one is brittle metal. If we see the stress strain diagram of a brittle metal, these materials fracture suddenly unlike the ductile uh, material that we have seen earlier which has a clear plastic deformation zone. So whenever we apply stress on materials like cast iron, bronze or hardened steel, they are fractured immediately without plastic deformation and thus we get small segmented chips. The next point is the low cutting velocity. If the cutting velocity is very low this will not generate much heat for smooth plastic flow and uh, um, they also result in chip breakage. Okay. The third important point is when a tool gets worn out. The blunt edge crushes the material instead of shearing it smoothly uh, using a blunt tool. So you will get discontinuous chips. And the last one is lack of lubrication. If you do not give proper lubrication, friction will be very high at the tool chip interface and the chips will try to stick with the rake face and due to this pressure it will break. Finally, this is the summary of today's lecture. Just pause this screen and you can take notes if you want. So if you have any questions regarding this lecture, please free to ask me in the comment section. For more such well-researched and informative videos, please support us by subscribing to Magvidya. Thank you.